This breakthrough invention of Elon Musk is going to make the U.S. Navy a superpower. Elon Musk's next-generation underwater aircraft carrier submarine is on the verge of being inducted into the U.S. Navy's fleet. It will be crammed with weaponry, allowing it to fulfill its promise in undersea combat. Musk is developing a new submarine for the U.S. Navy that will have enough speed and weaponry to overwhelm opposing ships and submarines. But honestly, how would it be possible? Hello and welcome to Elon Musk Evolution. If you're a Musk fan and don't want to miss anything about this incredible person, then smack the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. In today's video, we are going to tell you about the brand new underwater aircraft carrier sub of the U.S. Navy as leaked by Elon Musk. Admirals in command of the underwater aircraft carrier program's acquisition are ecstatic due to this mind-boggling work of Elon Musk. By this sub, attacks in the future will be quicker and quieter than ever before. In November, Elon Musk told AI News that it will have some unprecedented wonderful qualities. The next-gen underwater aircraft carrier he believes will have a considerable horizontal payload capacity. As you can see, it'll be carrying a lot of torpedoes and fighter planes. It'll be quick and have great acoustics. That includes sensors to detect other ships in the area, as well as stealth while remaining low and silent, according to Musk. The new submarine will be presented to the fleet in 2028, according to the project's timeline. In the FY22 National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, the Navy sought a budget of $498 million for research and development expenditure. However, the NDAA for FY 2022 only raised $130 million, which is insufficient for such a large undertaking. The U.S. Navy, on the other hand, anticipates these costs to rise as quickly as feasible. The tax must be adaptable. It should be able to strike rival submarines and destroy them, as well as bully surface fleets, eliminate submarines, and escort aircraft carriers. China has also militarized several rocks and reefs in the East and South China Seas, which might pose a danger to the U.S.'s maritime freedom of navigation. Musk's latest idea might prevent these islands from being used as attack targets. China might launch autonomous underwater vehicles from the disputed islands to attack American submarines in 10 years. This new underwater aircraft carrier may also be able to handle unmanned underwater boats, giving it drone capabilities. Aerial drones will also be available, said Musk, which might be used to target data for torpedoes. By the time Musk's underwater aircraft carrier is seaworthy, current cruise missiles and maybe even hypersonic missiles should have been replaced, making the new carrier's offensive capabilities even more dominating than imagined. Russia has already begun testing its hypersonic submarine-launched missile, but thanks to Elon Musk, America is pursuing a more advanced goal after a series of failed efforts. For the marine area, we're looking at the ultimate apex predator. Admirals like these will be needed to whip up support for how critical the new attacks are in maintaining excellent service in the Indo-Pacific. Congress may decide that building new submarines is adequate, stated Musk. However, China's existing edge as the world's biggest navy, with 355 submarine shifts, may be extended. By 2034, the U.S. Navy wants 66 underwater aircraft carriers. That's a long way off. The I-400 class will have to suffice till then, Musk stated. He also added that future presidential administrations in Congress will be required to fund the new underwater aircraft carrier. However, given the Chinese Navy's existing strength and expansion, it would make sense to fully fund the underwater aircraft carrier program each fiscal year. The Imperial Japanese Navy's I-400 class submarines were the biggest submarines built during World War II, and they remained the largest submarines ever built until the 1960s when nuclear ballistic missile submarines were developed. Each submarine has four 1,680 kilowatt engines and enough fuel to travel halfway around the world. Its pressure hull had a unique figure of eight design, according to Musk, which provided strength and stability for the weight of a massive on-deck aircraft hangar. A Mark III Model 1 air search radar with two independent antennas was installed on the I-400s. They also had air surface radar systems with characteristic horn-shaped antennas known as Mark II Model II. Two parallel sets of demagnetization wires spanning from the stern to the bow planes were strung along the submarine's gunwales. These were designed to guard against magnetic mines by blocking the magnetic field that would otherwise activate the mine's fusing device. Musk used to be a fan of this technology, and his new underwater aircraft carrier will be roughly based on the I-400 infrastructure, but far more sophisticated and advanced with all of the I-400's flaws addressed. That's not all, Elon Musk said. The advent of the atomic era led the U.S. Navy to consider a variety of alternative naval aviation basing concepts throughout the 1950s. 
AN-1, a massive nuclear-powered submarine capable of launching eight fighter planes in under eight minutes, was one such proposal. Even though the AN-1 was never built, it's a fascinating glimpse at a ship that might have been. Elon Musk stated that the plane, which never left the design stage, had a peak speed of Mach 3. Nuclear weapons' enormous potency against naval forces, proven at Bikini Atoll in 1946, caused the Navy to seek alternative aircraft-basing designs. One option was to make jet fighters amphibious, allowing them to take off straight from the sea, a notion that culminated in the Convair XF-2Y Sea Dart, which was a failure. Another more daring concept is to submerge aircraft carriers. A modified version of the Halibut-class guided missile submarine was also proposed for the underwater aircraft carrier idea. The Halibut was bigger than other boats because it needed to carry the nuclear-tipped cruise missile Regulus. In a hangar constructed inside the hull, the Halibut-class submarines carried five Regulus missiles, each the size of a small jet fighter. The missiles were launched from a rail on the hull's outside. Musk combined the two concepts to create the world's biggest, fastest, and most durable undersea carrier. Musk claims that his latest design for the U.S. Navy would be a big, lethal submarine-come-aircraft carrier that will be approximately 600 feet long with a 75-foot beam. It will travel to any place on Earth with an underwater speed of 60 knots and a 50,000-horsepower onboard nuclear power plant. Six bow-mounted torpedo tubes and two rear-firing tubes would be installed on the submarine. The main weaponry of the submarine, however, would be an eight-plane squadron of vertical takeoff fighter planes. The dagger-like planes designed by Boeing would be lifted nose-first on launch platforms before being pushed into the sky by three 23,000-pound Wright SE-105 turbojets. The whole U.S. military was swinging toward atomic war in the 1950s, and the AN-1 would have been most valuable in a nuclear fight. In a conventional conflict, the AN-1s wouldn't have been able to send up a sufficient number of fighter planes, but the submarine might have surfaced near the Soviet Union or China and launched nuclear-armed fighters from an unexpected direction. AN-1 was a notion that was ahead of its time, Musk remarked. The increased threat of high-tech weapons against aircraft carriers today, such as hypersonic weapons and anti-ship ballistic missiles, may force them to adapt and go underwater as the Navy considered 60 years ago. Submarine-launched and retrieved unmanned aerial vehicles might one day conduct many of the same operations as carrier aircraft. Elon Musk is creating a new submarine carrier for the U.S. Navy that incorporates all of the greatest concepts from the AN-1 and I-400 submarines. It will be significantly larger than the AN-1, and it may only be a matter of time until it merges the two into a stealthy and lethal package. When traveling at full speed, today's Nimitz-class supercarriers can launch a fighter every 20 seconds, yet launching eight aircraft in eight minutes was considered amazing at the time. In less than eight minutes, the AN-1 underwater aircraft carrier could launch four fighters and all eight fighters. Musk claims that the submarine aircraft carrier will do this in less than half the time. As a result, the U.S. military is relying heavily on Musk's groundbreaking technology, which is expected to enhance the strength of their fleet by multiple factors. However, it is still in the development stages. However, the U.S. Navy has previously attempted several times and failed to construct an underwater aircraft carrier submarine, but a collaboration with Elon Musk's technical team is on the edge of making that dream a reality. Okay, folks, that's it for today's video. If you're interested in watching more videos on Elon Musk, then what are you waiting for? Simply click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way.